What's going on YouTube? It's Ray. I'm about to go back to Miami after being uh, home for winter break. So I wanted to update. Um, got a not a ton of TTMs in, but pretty good quality and some pickups. Um, some from a while ago I just forgot to share, so let's dive in. Uh, the first is a contest win from an Instagram account for an energy drink of sorts or a sports drink called Hoist. They were giving away a bunch of Billy Hamilton stuff. And so I won um, signed baseball. It isn't Sharpie, but I don't really mind. Honestly, it's still pretty cool if you ask me, since he's a hometown player. Uh, it is on a official Major League Baseball, so thanks a lot to Hoist. Um, we will do other pickups first. These are actually uh, pretty old. I just forgot to share them originally from Bell Rand Cards. Uh, picked up about, the, I think it was $15 worth for three photos. Uh, First one was marked down because it was damaged there on the corner and a little bit down by my fingers too. But Cy Young winner Jake Arrieta. This is when the season was still going on. So before he won the Cy Young, so that's pretty cool. Uh, Bellring is a Giants fan, so I'm not surprised he had this. But 4 by 6 signed by David Tyree of the catch. It's an awesome looking picture. Signature looks nice. And then the third was from uh, one of his hometown players, Indian, that most people like, Jason Kipnis. Thought that looked pretty cool with him sliding, so thanks, Bell Ringer. Um, I'll hang on to those. It was a pretty good deal. Let's get into the TTMs. I don't have a lot of time because uh, my phone doesn't have much memory and storage on it, so I will try to be pretty brief. Uh, the first one I got back yesterday, Marty Brenneman, uh, Hall of Fame 2000. This surprised me a lot because uh, right when I started TTMing in 2014 in the summer, I dropped this in a mail... Um, well, I don't remember if it was in his mailbox or at the door, honestly, but at the house of um, where I thought M Mr. Brenneman still lived. I knew he used to live there, and then I found out he had previously moved out. So I guess the people who lived there somehow got it to him, and this took over 550 days, I think, 557, I want to say. But I was just astounded to uh, get that back, so that was pretty neat. Uh, next... Not going into uh, most of these. I'm not going to go into how I got them because I have friends and family trying it. Don't want to ruin it for them. Don't want to cause a boatload of mail that causes the player to stop signing. But personalized on my 4,000 yard club card, uh, Tom Brady of the Patriots. I mean, if you don't know if he's of the Patriots, you've been living under a rock. Sorry. <laughs> um, next, Hall of Famer, uh, future Hall of Famer, had a huge game last Sunday. Mr. Larry Fitzgerald on my 2014 contenders. That was pretty. That was a nice surprise to get back. This one came from um, Twin Spring Training. Took a while. Mr. Brian Dozier on my old Tops card. I think that's 2013. Uh, two card success. I'm not quite sure about these because the signature is different on the two of them. Trevor Hoffman sent to Padres Spring Training. If you'll notice, this one's a little harder to see. But the signatures are different. I don't know if you can tell. I'm not sure if one is ghost signed or what, or if he was just in a hurry. I've seen both signatures on Google. I don't really know what to believe, but still, I figured at least one of them's real. So that's pretty cool from Trevor Hoffman. Oh, this one's actually a pickup from a fellow collector on Instagram. Top certified auto out of... Um, 150 of Khalil Mack. That's pretty nice. He uh, only seems to be getting better. TTM from Martin St. Louis. Found a uh, private address. Tried it out. Took 10 days. Came out really nicely. And then this guy I actually just sent to again today, but not for me, for a cousin. So I don't want to give any clues about it. I don't want to ruin it for my cousin. Uh, Patrick Kane, who is on a bit of a hot streak right now, if you haven't heard. So are the Blackhawks. He signed my uh, Upper Deck Collector's Choice card. That came out really nicely. That was a nice surprise. Took about nine months. And then uh, last TTM, you can find uh, the address for these guys online on uh, pretty much any of the collector's uh, websites. First one of two pictures signed by both Corey Seeger and Kyle Seeger. I couldn't find a picture of all three brothers. I would have done that, but uh, the other picture... Justin Seeger and Kyle Seeger. I'm not sure if Justin still plays, but he was in the Mariners organization for a time. So overall, quality-wise, it was a really good um, 
winter break. Quantity-wise, eh, I've had more, but I mean, still quality way up there, so I'm pretty happy. And uh, I'll keep sending out as I uh, go back to uh, school, not as frequently, because I'll have responsibilities, of course, but uh, try to keep everyone updated and um, try to get as much out as I can. So uh, thanks for watching, guys.